Mayo Clinic and Stillwater Medical Center have announced plans to stop accepting Medicare Advantage plans, and Cameron Regional Medical Center is discussing taking similar measures. Medicare is federally provided health insurance for patients 65 or older. Medicare Advantage provides similar services through private insurance companies like Blue Cross Blue Shield. Our Alex Simone has the story. According to a review from the U.S. Department of Health and Senior Services, there's evidence of potential incentive for Medicare Advantage agencies to increase profits by denying payment or access to services. They are delaying any action on reimbursement. And you would think in this inflationary uh, environment that we're in now, especially especially uh, with, with the American Hospital, that we, we would get some sort of respect. Mosaic Public Information Officer Joey Austin has confirmed that Mosaic, which has locations in St. Joseph, Maryville, and Albany, has no current plans to stop accepting Medicare Advantage. St. Joseph resident Frank Roberts uses government-based Medicare with an insurance subsidy, but says choosing an option could be confusing, especially with how it's promoted. I don't know how well publicized because there's so much advertisement out there for so many other plans to actually be a, a subsidy to Medicare and uh, in this area uh, there's a couple brands that companies that they feel that are the best. Abrutz says many people don't realize Medicare Advantage is not the same as government-based Medicare. A key issue for Cameron Regional is compensation. Abrutz says hospitals receive less compensation when accepting Medicare Advantage than from government-based Medicare. i tell you what started, what started us our due diligence. When we identified that we, we are getting paid more for prison care than Medicare Advantage care. While there have only been a few hospitals in the U.S. making these changes so far, Abruz says he sees the trend increasing in the future. Alex Simone, News Press Now.